Hi, my name is Curtis Enlow, and on behalf of Expert Village, I'm going to show you how to plan, set up, and equip a work area for radio control models. In addition to all the mechanical tools, you're going to need some electrical tools as well. You'll find yourself soldering connections for batteries, uh, possibly uh, making your own wire harnesses for radios, that sort of thing. So you're going to do a fair amount of soldering with uh, RC models. This is a 25 watt solder pencil and uh, that's a minimum I would recommend. You really don't need a lot larger than that. You, with excessive heat you'll actually wind up damaging components. And since you'll only be wiring, uh, soldering usually wires and uh, small connectors, you really don't need more than this. I highly recommend getting the kit with the stand. That way your soldering iron isn't just laying around, rolling around, uh, burning things and possibly yourself. Plus it has a well with a sponge which is really handy and uh, absolutely necessary for cleaning the, uh, the tip of the solder iron when you're using it. So I would recommend this and uh, it's available for a pretty reasonable price. Also you'll need a variety of heat shrink tubing. This is great for uh, insulating uh, the ends of battery connectors, that sort of thing. You'll definitely need some of this. You really don't want to use electrical tape. Electrical tape uh, is just not reliable. Some desoldering wick is really handy when you need to take solder joints apart for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you've made a mistake or you're rewiring something. Desoldering wick is really important. It comes with instructions on how to use it and it's a, it's a nice thing to have. As far as soldering, you need rosin core solder. Never ever use acid core flux solder. It will damage the electrical components. Make sure you have rosin core solder. Now something I like to have on the side is rosin soldering paste. And you can get this, again, at most electronic supply outlets. This uh, rosin allows for solder to flow easily through a joint. Helps you uh, achieve a better solder joint, and it's just a really handy thing to have. Uh, if you use a paste, be prepared to uh, use some sort of solvent that will clean that up and uh, the outlet store, electronics outlet store, will have some of that as well. Of course you'll need a pair of small wire snips to go along with all that and something I neglected to mention earlier is a small machinist scale. These are great uh, for a lot of purposes. Of course it's at a perfect 90 degree right angle and so this is really ha handy for aligning a lot of things on your on your models. And if you can pick one of these up, that it's a great tool to have.